one fine January morning, what happened is something special and magical, which I would like to share with you. I, at 4.30 a.m. approx, I got up and I, my eyes were closed. I was in an alpha state or it was Brahm Mahuratam R, as we say it in the Indian tradition. That's when your mind is at the sharpest and your thoughts are at the purest form. So suddenly this model came together in my head. It was almost like an algorithm which came together in my mind. And I was forced to get up. I had to get up and actually pen it down before it evaporated in my head. So what I'm going to share with you for the first time, I am, you know, uh, revealing this to anyone. Who am I? Why do I think the way I do? Why do I act the way I do? What is the legacy I want to leave? What is the roadmap to, to, to defining my Ikigai? Friends, these are the very important questions we need to answer for ourselves. So what I want all of us to do, and this is what I did for myself, in a mind mapping format. Mind mapping means that whatever comes to your mind, just keep jotting it down on a piece of paper. So what are the things you love? And what are the skills you have? And also write down what are your thoughts and beliefs? What, are your, what is your belief system around the world, around the society, around business, industry, your life, your family? Whatever comes to your mind, just keep scribbling it down. So that is what we call the outer circle. The middle circle of this, uh, uh, of this worksheet, which I'll just show you, is what the world needs. What, according to you, in, in a very personal sense to you, what does the world need? And what are the actions you would like to take or you're already taking in that direction? Third, friends, the innermost circle is what is, and very importantly, what is the value to the society you would want to leave? You would want to carve for yourselves because as, as our scriptures say, it is 70% your actions, your karma, and 30% predestined. So what is the destiny you would want to create for yourself? What is the legacy you want to leave? So I started writing down. Uh, in the outer circle, uh, I, I love exploration and travel. I just simply love to travel. And there is a difference in the travel I do. I don't like to visit places. I like to visit people. I like to go and see how people live, what is their life. And then what, is, what action it translates to it leads to discovery of new ideas and concepts. And whenever I come back and I, on a similar mission, I went to two of the blue zones in the world, the longevity centers, Okinawa in Japan and Loma Linda in California. And I learned how people live long and healthy lives. I also like to, how, how do uh, put this, how, how do I want this to be uh, my destiny is so hence, there was always this little connection. Geography, history, culture, legacy, these always have been subjects of study for me. So they have been my, uh, something I, uh, in my subconscious, I always wanted to do something about it. But I could initially not relate it in this mind map format. But when I started writing down, it came to me. As a, as a student, I must confess, I was only an above average student. But... In these subjects, I used to be a topper, geography, history, uh, and, and now I realize why I was so. I love perfection in any form. I love perfection of relationships, you know, having solved relationships, not having complicated relationships. I love perfection of cervix. I love perfection of uh, products I buy. Uh, hence, uh, there is a very direct correlation that I love uh, people leading quality life and I myself want to lead a quality life. So what action it leads to is that I, it made me realize that I want my life to be, life cannot be perfect, but I want to strive to improve every day. So how do I uh, realize my life potential also comes from this thought process and belief system I have. So this is the action that I want to realize my life potential and I started taking actions towards this like in, in, taking care of my own health or doing things which I love in my work which I'll just share with you and this led me to a thought process that I want my destiny and my legacy to be it, it, it that I need to be somewhere in healthcare business 
and uh, healthcare not not purely making medicines but something helping people improve their life so uh, uh, what you could call a healthcare lifestyle business this is all a mind map a thought pattern which happened in me friends i have always been a very responsible and obedient son and uh, i can uh, say that uh, i value my mother and my father the most in this world and and hence i've always seen myself as a custodian in putting this into thought into action i've always seen myself as a custodian of my father's dreams so bajaj capital is a company he founded mr kk bajaj in 1965 and i walked into his company and asked for a job and hence i see it as a responsibility on myself that his legacy should grow 10x 100x 1000x multiple times some other thoughts and a very unique one that connecting with people is something i love when i go to a party i do not talk to 100 people i just speak to two or three people and have deep conversations with them so when i did my own kind of a lifeline right from my childhood growing up i used to at the age of 8 you know ask the driver to take me to pahar ganj and place in old delhi and meet my great grandmother my my father's nani ji so pabu as we used to call her i used to visit her and i and since beginning i've had a bond with these elders and i used to learn take life lessons from them so somewhere the action there was that this my thought and belief led me to an action that i wanted to grasp their wisdom so wisdom passed through generations is something which became an action for me and uh, i i wanted to do something about capturing ancient wisdom and friends another one i love positivity in any form i i just any uh, uh, environment where there is negativity negative people i i simply walk away i love good attitude service and and would like to deliver the best service for our own company so that's the action i take so what i do is in an airline in a restaurant in a cafe whenever somebody serves me well rather than thinking of tipping them 20 50 rupees what i would do is i will ask for a recommendation card and and write a recommendation because my recommendation may help them get a promotion so you know these are some of the things so this my thought process leads to this action and hence you know i kept thinking that about our business and kept discussing with my colleagues and other wise people that what is the purest form of financial planning we are in the business of wealth advisory financial planning so what is the purest form of financial planning and we realized that helping retired people take care of their money who are not in a position to earn again in life and in fact this is a quote from my father kk bajaj that help those people who are going to live to 100 and they are right now 60 years of age do help them to create a retirement plan which will they will not be able to earn this money again and hence we have to do their planning most responsibly so while planning has to be done most responsibly for everybody at all ages but at that stage age and stage it is most important so this become a thought sequence i i i realize that i want this to be our legacy as a company friends i love big thinking i love visioning scaling global impact so any business i want to do i wanted to have a global impact and that's what led to omni life 100 year planning is something i became passionate about i started seeing a connection between not uh, my original business was wealth but i started seeing a connection between health wealth and longevity and and started working towards it how to help people live to 100 and how to have their money outlast them which is the core principle of wealth management so this all came out of my mind mapping process friends i love in professionalism i love this good governance standards and and i work with a very powerful board in our company st- setting very high standards institution building because again the thought process is if 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 a bus hits me tomorrow the company should continue the company should continue to grow and there should be people very wise people guiding us and and working well uh, working towards taking the company forward independence is very important to me and independence i divided into three parts mental independence so i tap into i do not want to be tied to while i am a born hindu but i do not be tied to want to be tied to one religious thought process for me 
I study all religions, whether it is Hinduism, Islam, Christianity, Judaism, and learn from all different belief systems and all, all different spiritual schools. And that is what has guided my action coming out of my thinking of mental independence. And doing research for Omni Life is something which helps us create our future path. Mental independence followed by physical independence. So this thought process is very important to me that one should be, and this is something I've heard from my you know, elders, that they say we don't care about how long we live, but we want to be on our own two feet till we die. So in fact, this went on to become the foundation of our health and wellness platform, Omni Life, and that people want to live healthy each day of their life till they live, and they want to be on their own two feet independent till they die, and that is how I would want to be. Now, financial independence, we are in the business of helping people uh, become empowered, so you know, re reduce the disparity between rich and the very rich, and, and help the poor come out of that trap. Uh, and, and friends, I also believe that uh, uh, my financial independence also makes me think that besides Bajaj Capital, I should have other sources of income of my own. And hence, that was another reason we wanted to have Omni Life platform, which we created. So all this then came together in this mind map. All my thoughts and beliefs in the outer circle, which I just shared with you, and in the uh, the white circle, in the red circle, uh, you you see uh, all my how I'm putting them into action, and then in the middle is what I would want my destiny to be or my legacy to be. So, friends, this is uh, something which uh, uh, has led me to define my life purpose statement, which has come out of this mind mapping process and. All of you can attempt to do this in a, in 50 words. First, do this mind mapping on a piece of plain piece of paper and then define your, write down your life purpose statement and underline the important things which are important to you, which are coming again and again as a pattern. So just underline, keep underlining those. So I'll read out my life purpose statement to you to transform Bajaj Capital into a professional institutional company which serves as a legacy for generations to come. So you've been hearing this in the previous slides from me. I'm just now putting it into 50 words. From a financial well-being, changing our mission from a financial well-being to a total well-being company. Friends, I have to admit to you that till five years ago, a mission statement like most corporate CEOs, it was just a nice words written by an advertising executive on a website. It did not mean anything to me. Now my mission statement is the purpose of my life and hence it gives me goosebumps. Whenever I read it, it gives me goosebumps and it is a reminder to me on the path and the journey I am. So to help people live healthy to 100 and ensure their money outlasts them, to help people at crucial stages of their life, particularly retirement, which I shared with you, to build, nurture and deepen heart-to-heart -heart relationships. I believe in very few relationships, but very deep relationships. And I want to continue to nurture them. So hence, if a friend is upset with me, I will not put ego in the middle. I will reach out to the friend, ask the person, what is bothering you? Why, why haven't you called me in a week? And I would meet that person for a coffee and try and resolve these differences. To truly add value to the life of my loved ones is a quest for me. And finally, to build a business drawing upon ancient wisdom to help people restore to a natural way of living, birth of Omni Life, and a healthcare lifestyle business drawing upon ancient wisdom for total well-being. So this is what, friends, the, all the keywords of my life, perfection, realizing life potential, legacy, positivity, good attitude, big thinking, independence, they all came together to create my life purpose statement. Ikigai is about something you feel deeply about. It is like Nirja, you know, who feels deeply about dancing. It is about Baba Ramdev, who has made his passion, his mission into his business and he's taken it to the world as Patanjali. So it has taken me years and years to get here, friends. It's a lifelong pursuit. It's not an easy journey. But it is, I must tell you, you may ask yourself this question or ask me this question. That why is it, I mean, why is it even important? It is important if you want to have a purposeful life, if you want to feel that inner wholesomeness, 
inner satisfaction, clarity of thought. These are all the things I have experienced. Really satisfied. You know, when you all of us go through ups and downs in life. So this helps you come out of down moments much faster. So I want to tell you finally one thing, which is that each one of us has a unique gift and which only we possess amongst 7 billion people on this planet. And I would like to share that I have realized that my unique gift is to is connecting the dots. My closest of friends and mentors have told me that Rajiv, there is something about you that you are sitting in a meeting in office and one hour of, you know, roundabout discussion is going on and hundred things are written on the whiteboard and suddenly you are able to see patterns in them. So what I realized and, and more than first, I didn't take it seriously. I thought they are complimenting me, but when two or three or four people said the same thing, I started taking it seriously and I started researching it, analyzing it. So this is what you should also do. What are the compliments you get? Think about them seriously. It will help you discover your unique gift. Now, what I did, I put that to work and how I took it forward is that as an action, this is a skill I have as an action. I want to help people join the dots of their life. And hence, uh, so that I'm able to put this unique gift I have to work. Hence, it came out my, my Ikigai statement, which is my Ikigai is to help Everyone I meet, find their Ikigai. So friends, I wish all of you, the students, particularly students, you find your Ikigai very early in life. And it took me half my life, you know, 50 years of age to get there. If you can find it, you know, when you are 18, 20, 25, just imagine what a powerful life you can lead. It will give you, it will blossom you like a flower. We are in springtime. So I can talk about flowers. It will blossom you into a full bloom flower, you will feel innate happiness in the work you're doing. It will show in your eyes. It will show in the products and services you design. And also it may show in your bank balance. So with that, thank you very much. And thanks for this opportunity. Namaste.